In this video, we are demonstrating a masculars, advanced masculars attack on clock based intrusion detecting system for the canvas. For this demonstration, we are using three nodes. One of them is legitimate sender, the one is the attacker, and one is the CIDS. The legitimate sender it is circled in yellow and the attacker in red, while the monitoring node, the CIDS, it is in green. On the right side, we can see it is a plot which is generated by the MATLAB and uh, the parameters for generating the MATLAB, these were obtained from CADS using the serial communication. At the start, uh, the legitimate sender it is sending a message while on the right side we can see uh, the visual analysis of the clock behavior and uh, it is quite linear, uh, though it is not perfectly linear but it is linear and uh, <clears throat> at this point the clock uh, the legitimate sender the, it suspended the uh, it suspended the message transmission and uh, the attacker that was sending the spoof messages uh, at k is equal to 20 again in the <coughs> we can see in the plot that uh, there was a sudden change in clock behavior at k is equal to 20 which represent the deviation from normal clock behavior which leads to the fact that there was some abnormality in the network now we are going to observe the clock behavior when advanced masculars attack is launched advanced masculars attack again it is an attack proposed by us which is uh, which exploits the weaknesses in clock based into the detection system and uh, in that case, in the case of advanced masculars attack, we are not going to see that sudden jump at k is equal to 20. We didn't change the settings of network at all using the same parameters. And again here, right now, it is sending the message. But one more thing is that we are learning the behavior of clock. Now the uh, attacker that is also learning the uh, sender's behavior. And... Uh, now the clock is suspended and uh, uh, the message transmission from legitimate sender it is, uh, it is suspended and uh, right now the messages were transmitted by the attacker based on the clock behavior of, uh, of the legitimate sender and at k is equal to 20 we are seeing that the, uh, the chain that is not too much the deviation from the normal clock behavior it is uh, quite it is in the uh, it is in the normal operational range and we can see it will not be detected by the CIDS at all as abnormality. This is because uh, the advanced mesh attack that is, uh, that is exploiting the weaknesses in the architecture of CIDS. Uh, thank you for watching the video. For any questions, please leave your comments in the, uh, in the comment section. Well, I'll be more than happy to answer those questions. Thank you.